Carried ultra low volume cold fogging equipment, backpack sprayer. These hand carried machines are ideal for treating enclosed spaces and small outside areas with limited vehicle access. They are mounted on a backpack type structure and can be carried comfortably on one's back. When empty, backpack sprayers weigh between 6 and 11 kilograms and they should not weigh over 25 kilograms with fuel and insecticide. Before using this equipment, it is important to be familiar with its parts, many of which we will be handling, employing safety measures as we do so. The parts of the backpack sprayer are atomizer, hose, insecticide valve, throttle, fuel valve, insecticide tank, two-stroke engine, shoulder strap, turbine, fuel mixture tank, ultra-low volume meter. Operating the equipment. Put in the amount of insecticide required for the planned activity. Ultra-low volume formulations, emulsifiable concentrates, and oil and water emulsions are recommended. Remember not to keep leftover insecticide mixture for the next day. Steps to turn on the machine. Open fuel shutoff valve. Prime. Choke. Put the throttle at the halfway point. Pull the starting handle. Most of these coal flog generating machines have a gasoline motor that runs a ventilator or turbine capable of producing a high-speed air current through the nozzle. The air slightly pressurizes the insecticide tank so that the liquid reaches the nozzle through a reducing valve. The negative pressure generated by the air current through the nozzle allows the liquid to flow from the tank. Backpack sprayers have discharge systems with flows of 1 to 4 liters per hour. The flow is controlled by a metering valve with a fixed or variable aperture. It is recommended that each machine be handled by two workers operating in one hour shifts. Steps to take before starting to spray. Before beginning the insecticide application, inform the house's occupants about the purpose and time of the operation and about poison prevention measures. Turn off the stove and any other flame source. Cover food. Close the windows. Remove pet cages and food containers from the dwelling. Occupants and pets must also leave the dwelling. They should wait a minimum of 30 minutes after the fogging before re-entering. Use of the equipment during fogging. Before turning on the equipment, check there is no fuel or mixture leak. Do not use the equipment near inflammable substances. Do not remove the fuel tank cover while the motor is running. When spraying, keep the machine's nozzle approximately 3 meters from walls or objects. During the fogging, remember to keep the nozzle pointing up. When beginning each application, you should use full throttle. The fogging is done at a 45 degree angle. Close the insecticide shutter valve when you finish each room or dwelling. When you finish fogging, close the fuel shutter valve before turning off the machine. Calibrating the equipment. In order to obtain an average output of 30 mm per minute, you should use a 0.8 mm or smaller diameter ULV restrictor. Then fill the insecticide tank with 2 liters of insecticide mixture. 
open the insecticide valve and fill the hoses. To perform the calibration, the machine should be at ground level, secure the discharge system well so that it does not move, turn the motor on for one minute, speed it up to the maximum and open the insecticide valve. Time exactly 60 seconds from the moment the insecticide leaves the nozzle and then close the insecticide valve and turn off the motor. To determine the insecticide output per minute, empty the leftover insecticide from the tank and tubes into a graduated container. The difference between what you put in the tank to start and what is left over is the per minute output. Maintaining the equipment. When you finish a treatment, clean the equipment and each of its parts. The instruction manual accompanying each piece of equipment describes the time intervals at which each part should be cleaned. Clean the insecticide tank with water if you have used water-based formulations. Clean with diesel if you have used oil-based formulations. Use a damp cloth to remove any surplus fuel and insecticide from the equipment. Keep the equipment in a dry place where it is protected from the sun.